here, hello and welcome back. And today I want to continue looking at mobile applications for NAS. And although we've looked at a number of Synology applications, today we are looking at one that is arguably the most bog standard. It is DS File. It's the file management application for your Synology NAS, usable on iOS and Android. It allows you to be able to browse the files and folders on your NAS, on the shared folders or shared files that you choose to go through and allow you to kind of access and micromanage the folder structure of your NAS. I'm not gonna say it's gonna wow you. Um, do check out the video coming a short while after. It's a little bit more, um, I would say, intuitive. Uh, that is Synology Drive, which also has a bunch of other factors and stuff. But the DS file application is still pretty good and quite snappy for an application for handling the folder structure of your NAS. So. Before we go any further though, why don't we log out of this NAS and just show you what the general UI is going to be. As you can see, I've already logged into this NAS remotely over the internet. I am using the internet there and I'm not using the IP. I could if I chose, uh, it's available on the IP, but we're not going to be using that. Now, if we go for the options at the bottom, we can go to the configuration there. Nice and quick one, that's to do with uh, certificates with regards to security and remembering a lot of the login information. Likewise, the bottom right of the screen there, we can enable a secondary passcode um, for this application if we choose, as well as a bit more information about the app itself there and the version that we're using. A newer one may have been released for iOS and Android since this recording. So if we go ahead, um, before we go any further though, I should touch on at the bottom there, the offline files there. Because if you do download files from the app onto your local phone, they you can get into that folder here if you choose without logging into the NAS, which is quite handy. But of course you can use the file manager that already exists on your phone if you choose. So let's come out of that app, go back in, and we'll log into the NAS. Now again, you can change the viewpoint there, go straight into shared folders, but again, there are other configurations too. And again, you've got the task manager there with regards to if you're running stuff in the background of your NAS with uploads and downloads, and we'll do one or the other very shortly. But one feature of DS file that I think gets overlooked by a lot of people is simply the photo backup option. I love this one. And I, I don't understand why they don't sing more praises about this. I know they use this in some of their uh, photo applications, the dedicated photo ones, to allow not only you to synchronize and back up the photos from your um, iOS or Android device to the NAS in the way that we think of with Apple services and uh, Google Photos, but also you can enable it for doing all the pictures in the future. So you can enable it there, make sure you enter the details of your NAS and it will synchronize and allow that uh, backup or photos to your NAS regularly as they are taken, which is incredibly handy there. And something that a lot of people only think is available on the desktop, uh, oh, sorry, on the mobile photo apps. It's actually available here on this arguably more rudimentary file manager. So if we go into the Synology NAS there, we've got some folders there that I have enabled for sharing on the NAS. As mentioned, we can flick between them. And again, we can add filters. We can search them if we choose. Um, if we go into one of the folders there, we've got that main share that's got all the media that we use for our Plex videos. And again, we can go into TV shows there. We can go into Black Books, go into Series 1. It's nice and nippy, nice and quite quick there. Find out more information about the file if we want there in the background. Find out more information about it there owners calculating size that it's utilizing on the device um, again lots of information there if we play it it should be highlighted that it will ask to use the um, client uh, video application services so i'm using vlc here so it's worth highlighting that ds video doesn't have a video player built in but if you use other multimedia types, you do have options, such as going into some of the photo albums, for example. We can go ahead and select uh, an album here. Let's select a photo. Let's select one at random, whatever photo this is of a Christmas tree. That was a particularly good Christmas there. We can have a look at some of those options. And you can arrange links to it to share with other people. Download it to your local machine if you want to that folder. Check some of the settings if you want for files to be displayed on screen. Again, I'm not going to say it will blow your mind. But what I will say is it does the job and does the job very, very quickly and clearly. For shares, you can say when you want the share to start, when you want the share to end, and if you want it to be password locked, which is always handy there. And again, shared links there. You can go ahead and just create a shared link if you choose. And then boom, you can go ahead and copy that link if you choose and then use it in another context later. 
Same goes if you want to go for other multimedia types, going to music, going to the Oasis soundtrack. Again, I have disabled sound because of the YouTube bots, but we can go ahead and play that file there. But because this isn't an audio app, it will play at the top there along with the screen recorder that we're running. It won't go ahead and create an entire interface there. You'll need to use DS Audio for that. But again, information, you can share the file. You can move the file to another location in the shared directories if you choose. There's lots of different options there while you've got to even pin the file if you choose to make sure you've got access to it later on. If we go ahead and download that file there, we'll go ahead and download it locally. Go ahead and click OK. And what we can do now is go into the tasks there in the background and we can see the list of the things that we've downloaded and done there in the background throughout the course of this video. Again, files very easy to display there, nice and simple, nice straightforward file types. We've even got the recordings and you can access any shared folder on the NAS as long as you've enabled that the account holder using this app on the mobile has permission to view that folder. There's lots of options there, lots of things you can flick between and lots of stuff. I'm not going to say it is an incredible app, but I will say it is a fast, intuitive and very, very easy to use application. And that's really all that you want. What are the things that I'd like to see? Well, actually, the things that I would like to see in this application, such as um, tailored client um, a file opening, such as opening a docs file and using some of these services from Synology rather than the client apps, I've got to say, the reason it makes it difficult to critique them is simply that you have Synology Drive. And Synology Drive is kind of the more intuitive and more one um, app for all trades tool for opening files in a far more dynamic fashion. The ES file is kind of what Notepad is to uh, Microsoft Word. And as much as I like the ES file, it has to be said that as soon as you enable Synology Drive services, although you don't immediately have access to shared folders in the way you do with DS File, you do have a more tailored and more versatile tool in Synology Drive for mobile than you do in DS File. DS File is still useful, still has a great utility, is a fast, snappy, easy way to access the folder structure of your shared folders on the NAS, and you can configure a number of options internally from shares to downloads to restrictions too. But do stay tuned for my review of Drive Mobile for Android very, very shortly. I'm gonna wrap things up there. Everything is pretty much the same as what you'd expect right now in terms of security, in terms of sharing and more, but that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you did in the comments. Um, and again, I know I'm using the word review loosely on these videos, but there's not much to review. I mean, what you're seeing is what you're getting, but it's still a nice little lag. Click like if you enjoyed the video, click subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you on the next video.